Hi everyone, Mamie here. Today we're doing a tutorial on a baby diaper card. So let's get started. This one is for a little girl, and here's the diaper. It has a ribbon and some heat embossing on it. So this is what the paper will look like for the layout. measure seven and a half in length by four and three quarters in width and to get the little flaps we're going to cut with our paper trimmer up to the two inch mark and we're going to bring it in about a fourth of an inch bring it up to the two inch mark same on the other side bring it in a fourth of an inch and up to the two inch mark then we're just going to snip off the extra paper And now this is what we have. We're going to fold it in half. Make sure it's all even. Now we're going to punch out the leg holes. So I usually just kind of go in um, where it feels right the first time and then I use that as a template for all the other diapers where I will just draw uh, trace in the line and then go to, go over it so it can all be uniform but the first time I just give it a punch don't do it too close together because then it'll look like panties instead of a diaper I learned that the hard way and now we're going to um, score the flaps Fold those in, and there's a little diaper. So we need to put some glue. I'm using the three-in-one glue. By Beacon, three-in-one advanced craft glue. It's pretty good. Now we're just going to close it up. And let that dry for a bit. And this is the Ombre ink pad by Hero Arts. That is so cute. I'm going to use that on the insert of the card. I have masked off the address. I'm just showing you the process. I'm not actually going to do it. And then we matted it with little footprints. And all of these supplies I got at Hobby Lobby, um, I am imagine that you can get them anywhere. I'll search around and see if there's some other places that you can get some of these supplies. But we got all of them from Hobby Lobby. And then I embossed with pink embossing powder the top layer, the top part of the diaper, and then made a tag. And these are all things that you can do with whatever you already have on hand and then tied the ribbon around it. And so that's what it'll look like plain. And this is what it looks like finished. So thanks for joining me and watching this video. If you haven't yet, visit my blog at onejoyousskip.com. Please like and hit subscribe to see more videos like this. Have a good day.